Hello and welcome to Newsweek Wales. I'm Katie Fenton. Coming up on today's programme. Welcome back. There are calls for immediate action to tackle the amount of time patients spend in Welsh hospitals recovering from illness. A report by a group of Senedd members has found that a staffing crisis in the social care sector is leading to people spending days, sometimes weeks, longer in hospital than necessary. It's leading to a shortage of beds, which then has a knock-on impact for those on waiting lists and patients waiting for treatment in emergency departments. Adrian. Well, joining me now to discuss the situation a bit more in Welsh hospitals is Darren Hughes from the Welsh NHS. And complex and significant challenges, that's what the Welsh Government says is causing... We've heard a lot about the numbers, but the workforce, and it's about a whole system. More importantly for us is you can't turn a tap... Um, some people are saying that there could be up to seven years yes. before these waiting lists are addressed, and we know they're not going to shrink overnight, even if it's not seven years. Meanwhile, people are waiting. Digital consultations where we can. We heard there from um, Paula and Judith in it to help the situation, if anything. Pressures in, in social care. So at the, everything we can. The Talked about um, recruitment there, and, and that is long term. Yeah. Um, and and that those processes obviously take time. They do. Is there any, are there any short term solutions that you'd like to see the government? Long term plan. It takes seven. Many doctors are over 50. We'll have to leave it. 